applications of neutralization. So uh, we've learned a lot of things about neutralization. Why do we so uh, concerned about these reactions? Because in our daily life, we'll use it quite often. So if you still remember, some of you are my Form 2 students. Uh, form 2, we did talk about the applications of neutralization. And I did draw these pictures once, okay? So uh, basically, you know that, okay, if we have like stomach ache, okay, too much stum uh, gastric juice, we can add an exit to help us to relieve the stomach pain, okay? Um, in chemistry textbook, okay, we did mention this one. If you have like bee stain, okay, because the bee stain are acidic stain, so therefore you get an alkaline in it, okay? And then the factory, okay, the factory, they will give out a lot of industrial waste. They will be acidic or alkaline. So when we have this kind of industrial waste, then we have to treat it, okay, before of discharge it into the river otherwise you'll see that you kill a lot of fish lastly okay it will be agricultural okay for agriculturists okay you can control the soil pH okay with many reasons to have the soil pH change okay we can use different chemicals to control the soil pH to the range that we want it to have Okay, and also we can add it or uh, use it to prepare, use neutralization to prepare fertilizer so that you can see that the grass can grow, okay, the plants can grow uh, longer, taller, stronger, things like that. Okay, so first one, adjusting soil pH. We also call this one liming the solution. Liming solution means that we try to bring the pH at the beginning, it's very low, and then we try to bring it up. Okay, so uh, first of all, why the pH is very low? Now, oh, your exit, okay, in the soil, they may come from the exit ring. Or exit ring, we have like sulfurous acid, like uh, nitrous acid. Okay, but also the normal ring water is also acidic because we have uh, carbon dioxide add into the water, forming a weak acid which is carbonate, carbonic acid, okay? And also the plant itself, they may release some chemicals to make the solutions acidic or bacteria activity. So we have a lot of reasons that the soil will become too acidic, okay, for the plant to grow. So we're going to add some alkaline to neutralize the acid, okay? So the chemical that we add into it will have three names, three different chemicals, okay? The first one is quick lime, calcium oxide, slate lime, calcium hydroxide and the one that you're more more familiar with that was limestone calcium carbonate these three okay you are expect to know their chemical names that means okay we may just give you quick lime slick lime limestone then you have to write out okay oh they are calcium oxide calcium hydroxide and calcium carbonate okay so do remember you have to memorize for this one so this is a neutralization because you got some acid uh what acid Okay, if you are forced to write equation, how are you going to write? If you don't know the exit, which type of exit is it? No worry. You can use ionic equation. If you have ionic equation like uh, exit, it must be H+. plus. Okay, calcium oxide, that is a quick line. It should be in solid state. So therefore, you do like this way. You balance it. It's not difficult at all. Okay, so aqueous, liquid, okay, and aqueous. So for the other, like calcium hydroxide, you just do the same, okay? So you have like H plus calcium hydroxide. You got two OH here, so you have two H plus here. So you have Ca2 plus, and got two H2O. Okay, limestone, okay, uh, limestone calcium carbonate with acid. Again, okay, CaCO3 will form CO2. And you have an O behind, so you have two H plus, so H2O and also Ca2 plus. Okay, so all these okay can be asked in a public exam. So uh, adjusting the soil pH, okay, powder limestone, okay, is commonly used by far farmers to reduce the acidity of the soil. Explain with the aid of ion equation. Just now we've done it, and how it can be done. So we have calcium carbonate acid. Remember, okay, we don't know what kind of acid it is. So use H plus to write an equation will do. The mechanism behind, okay, is the limestone neutralize the acid, okay, in the soil, okay. Um, strictly speaking, okay, if you're talking about calcium carbonate, we don't use the word neutralize, okay. You may say the calcium carbonate, calcium, sorry, calcium carbonate in limestone 
reacts with the acid in the soil. Okay, that would be better. Okay, because it is not neutralization at all. Okay, so the other one is a uh, powder limestone is preferred. That means I like this one, but I don't like this one. Okay, I don't like a uh, aqueous ammonia in reducing acidity of the soil. Okay, that means that people, some of them, they may use aqueous ammonia. Sometimes they may use powdered limestone, but they like powdered limestone more. Okay, so normally when you consider these kind of things, okay, you have to consider about the safety okay when you use them are you safe second one okay will be convenient okay see whether it is convenient to use that or not for limestone okay you know that that is solid state but for this one is in aqueous state okay which one is more or convenience to use okay uh, let's think about like this okay first of all ammonia there's a big problem it must be smelly Okay, remember ammonia is smelled like urine. Okay, so if you pour the ammonia into the soil, you may have a urine smell. No good. Okay, limestone. Okay, powdered limestone or uh, it is solid. Okay, you have no smell at all. Okay, so that would be a uh, savor and no smell for the limestone. Okay, but for aqueous, they are irritating smell. Okay, so therefore it's not good to use. Other than that, okay, uh, because we are applying this to the soil, and the soil is outdoor most of the time. Okay, we will subject it to like um some rainwater coming down. So when you have rainwater coming down, okay, the ammonia is in solution form. The ammonia will be easier to be washed away. Okay, I like you to remember this part. Okay, so. Um, the ammonia is volatile and easily lost by evaporation or being washed away. Volatile means uh, they will turn into gas easily. So therefore, it will be easily lost by evaporation. And because they are soluble in water, so they will be easily be washed as well. But the limestone is different. Limestone is calcium carbonate, which is insoluble. So they will not wash away quickly. So therefore, they have a long-lasting action. So this is a good question. That means a unique one, okay? So do remember, okay? Have a look of this one and put a tag in your task book, okay? So write on a question, how slate lime neutralize the acid? Slate lime is calcium hydroxide. We can use neutralize this time, okay? So the acid will be like this. Easy. Okay, we've done this already. Okay, and then what? We'll uh, number two, a student suggests that eggshells can be used to adjust soil pH. Remember, eggshells, marble, okay, limestone, all of these actually they are calcium carbonate. So calcium carbonate can they use to adjust the pH soil or soil pH? Of course, yes, okay, because just like lining the soil only. So that's it. And then our uh, next, okay, that will be neutralizing excess acid in the stomach. The acid in our stomach, okay, the gastric juice one is the hydrochloric acid. If you got too much, okay, you will cause indigestions. That means you cannot digest well. What we're going to do, we just add an acid. Remember the spelling. It is ant acid, not anti acid. Okay, we don't write like this. Okay, that is an acid. An acid normally we use weak base because this is acid so therefore i have to add a base okay to neutralize the excess acid in it so the active ingredient that means in the in those medicine okay are the chemicals that we carry out the reaction that one we call it active ingredient the active ingredient in the an acid okay that will be most of the time is magnesium hydroxide and aluminium hydroxide these two are very very common to be seen okay if it is a solid okay then you see that solid okay break it down okay by the acid okay remember when you write an ion equation it will just like magnesium hydroxide and then you have the h plus here and then you form mg2 plus and h2o okay so um balancing equation okay do work hard on this okay in the process you see that okay we don't have our uh, co2 form no co2 form here so therefore your stomach won't be uh, having pressure building up in it okay so um 
basically, okay, for each of the n exit, they will have their side effect. For example, magnesium hydroxide, okay, you have to go to uh, diarrhea a little bit more, okay, and then aluminum hydroxide, it will make you have constipation, that means you have no poo poo, okay. Long ago, actually, we used hydrogen carbonate and also calcium carbonate to do that, okay. But you know that the side effect, just now we meant that, or uh, just now we mentioned that will be producing carbon dioxide. When carbon dioxide produced, they will build up pressure in stomach okay that means you feel very very full and it will be very gassy so what you feel is not comfortable so most of the time nowadays we don't use the hydrogen carbonate or carbonate as an active ingredient in an exit anymore okay the third one okay we're going to deal with the industrial liquid waste what industry will pour this or uh, liquid waste into the river okay uh suggestions okay it will be electroplating and also dyeing industry okay normal this kind of waste okay they will be acidic okay and when you get and when you have this liquid get into the water they may kill water life okay so basically if you have acidic waste easy you use carbonate or slick lime to neutralize it. On the other way round, if you got alkaline, then you put sulfuric acid in it. Okay. So in this case, we won't put any OH because that would is a strong alkaline. Okay. Um. So that's it. Last one, okay, we'll be producing fertilizer to increase crop use. Fertilizer is very important because our populate our populations is growing all the times. So if we can produce some good fertilizer it can help the plant grow better so how can we prepare the fertilizer one very typical fertilizer which will be ammonium nitrate remember the spelling ammonium nitrate okay so ammonium nitrate with nitric acid together with ammonia but one thing i want to remind you ammonium nitrate is highly explosive if you expose it to like sun, uh, sunlight for very very long or high temperature, okay, then it will be very explosive. Do remember, try to store them in shaded area, avoid fire or high temperature. You may ask, oh, then can we use outdoor? Of course you can, okay. I just say that you store it, okay. When you store it, don't try to let it um under the sunlight for like many days, okay. They may be exposed, okay. So basically, okay, uh, just now we go through four uh, applications for that, okay? So right now, class practice ninety point uh, eighteen point nine, okay? So no stable, uh, uh, no state symbol are required, okay? You have to write down the uh, formula for that. Making ammonium sulfate neutralized by acid and alkaline, or by neutralization of acid and alkaline. Ammonium sulfate. Okay, sulfate must be coming from sulfuric acid. Ammonium must be coming from ammonia. What you need to do just balance it. Okay, B, neutralizing nitric acid from electroplating electroplating plants. That means the uh, factories using sodium carbonate. So you have nitric acid, you have sodium carbonate. Remember the salt is sodium nitrate, which is one to one the ratio. So if you have two here. This one must be two. And each of the carbonate, they can give out carbon dioxide. Okay, remember we mentioned carbonate, you consider that as CO2 plus O2 minus will do. When you got one O2 minus, you need two H to form H2O. Last one, okay, you have sodium hydroxide, which is NaOH, and then uh, neutralized by sulfuric acid. Oh, this one is extremely easy, okay? So you have sodium sulfate, and then you have two H2O. Okay, so uh, to summarize, okay, application of neutralization, we can control the soil pH, okay, the pH of the soil, we call that liming of solutions. Remember that three chemical, quick lime, slate lime, and also um, limestone, okay. Neutralize excess gas juice, gastric juice in our stomach is HCl, okay. So the active ingredient we are talking about, magnesium hydroxide and also aluminium hydroxide. We seldom use carbonate nowadays to prevent building up pressure, okay, in our stomach and not feeling comfortable, okay. Treating industrial waste, okay. So industrial waste, if you have acidic, you use sodium carbonate or like uh, slate lime calcium hydroxide. If you have alkaline waste, then you use um, 
sulfuric acid for that. Okay, and then producing fertilizer, the fertilizer that we have learned is ammonium nitrate, which is coming from NH3 and also H2SO4. Sorry, it's HNO3. Okay, so they will form ammonium nitrate. So ammonium nitrate, we have a lot of N, okay, because N is very essential for synthesis of protein. Okay, the plants they also need protein. Okay, this has been asked in DSE. So do remember ammonia, I mean nitrogen is very important for synthesis of protein. Okay, so that will be the end of this chapter. Okay, um, do revise. Okay, the ways to prepare the salt. Okay, remember the most important is the solubility table. Okay, that will be very useful thereafter. And also uh, spend time on the chapter exercise and also write notes on this. That's all for this video. Bye-bye.